Kitchen with CBBC. This is not a fairy tale. Or is it? <laughs> For hundreds of years, only the most unfortunate are summoned to the tower, ready to take on the voice and her dark magical forces. There are kicks and challenges on every floor, and someone not to be trusted. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest... You're trapped! Ever after. <laughs> Oh! I didn't know you lot were going to be there. Oh, and there you are. Oh, brilliant weed! The next batch of unfortunates have arrived. I hope they're better than the last lot. Only one escaped. Come on! <laughs> this lot are from Livingston. There's Nicholas. He's terrified of tangerines. That's Katie. She invented carrots. Zach is best served chilled. Martha is from London. How did she get in there? That's Craig. He used to be a cruise liner. And Lauren. She travels to school by a hedgehog. <laughs> like all those before them, they'll be imprisoned at the top of the tower. They must work as a team to complete challenges and escape each floor. But one of them cannot be trusted, the saboteur. Only one will leave with the key of freedom and the rest. That's right. Trapped! <laughs> On each floor, a new saboteur will be chosen. It's up to you to uncover who it is. Remember everything you see as you journey through the tower. You may need it to win the key of freedom. Not all of you will get that far. Some of you will be staying here a very long time. Ooh, she's nasty. Floor six. Bother a blocks. Line up! Here. What's small, green, and bounces round the room? A baby botherer. Unfortunates will have their work cut out in this nasty nursery. They must build a tower out of the toy blocks scattered around the room, whilst keeping an eye on the restless baby botherer. But beware, if there are power cuts, one unfortunate will be out to cause chaos. With a baby botherer on the loose, there'll be trouble. To pass, unfortunate must make sure baby's back in his pen and all toy blocks are on the rug. So, who cannot be trusted? Craig, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only one who can hear my voice. When the lights go out, it will be pitch black, and this is your chance to release the baby botherer and destroy the tower. Now be careful not to knock into anyone, and be back in position when the lights come on. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Oh, so Craig is the first saboteur, but has he got what it takes to fool the others? Unfortunate. To pass, you must ensure the botherer is in the pen, and all the toy blocks are on the rug at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin! Now! Craig, help the team. Get them on, get them on. I will tell you when the power cuts are coming. Get them on. Make sure the small ones go on the top. Come on, get. Put the small ones on the top. The small ones on the top. There's a power cut coming. Five, four, three, two, one. The small ones at the bottom, they can. Okay, release the botherer. Can you see the lever? Left, left. That's it. Now back into position. 60 seconds. Yes. <laughs> now they have to build it all over again. That's it. Look like you're helping. Shut it. Shut it. Make sure it's shut. Tell the others to hurry. You must look like you're one of the team. Oh, the small ones on the top. Power cut coming. Three, two, one. 
Now back to the lever. Out he comes. 30 seconds. Down comes the tower. <laughs> yes. Go quick, one under my go. Go quick, one under my go. Just keep playing along with the team. Get the small ones on the top. Get the small ones on the top. Get the small ones on the top. Not long now. Oh, quick. Get that one. Quick, one. Ten. Building it too Seven, quickly. Six. Do five, something. Four. Oh, no, yes. Two. Three. One. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ah, oh, brilliant sabotage skills. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Zach, who did you think the saboteur was? Well, I think it was Lauren because she wasn't helping us put all the blocks on. Martha. I agree with Zach. I also think it was Lauren because at the end she made those blocks fall down. Nicholas. I think it might have been Zach because he was always first to get the baby back in. Katie. I think it was Nicholas because he was near the blocks when it fell down. Craig. I think it was Zach because he always seemed to take a while to get back to the box and try and help us. Lauren. I think it was Zach because he was always helping the baby and not helping us to put the box up. You have voted for Zach. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact... Craig. <laughs> Zach, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, friend. Zach, any last words? I got it. I was trapped first. Poor unfortunate Zach. You're trapped. Ever after. <laughs> Zach, it's all been a fix. Left holding the baby. Alone on floor six. Floor five. The Midnight Bride. Oh, some people are never happy. Particularly this ficklesome bride. When the clock strikes 12, the Midnight Bride has so many admirers she cannot decide. This is all getting silly. The marriage man said, You must find a husband before you are dead. Unfortunates must find her three potential husbands. But beware, present her with any she don't like the look of and there'll be trouble. <laughs> Choosing correctly three times and it's all over. <laughs> Remember, one of them is not to be trusted. But who is it? Katie, do not react. You are the saboteur. What the others do not know is that tonight, the bride hates all potential husbands with Ed in their name. You must use your powers of persuasion to make the others fail. But don't be too obvious. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Oh, it's Katie. Sab it up. Unfortunates. To pass, the bride must approve three potential husbands. Let the challenge begin! Now! Don't be late. I think maybe we should try someone who's happy. Remember, Katie, the bride hates grooms with Ed in their name. It's happy. Happy, happy. it could be. With... Well, that uh, Albert Edge, is it? He looks sh happy. Him? Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, but... Perfect. Well done. The bride is coming. Do you, bride, take Herbert Edge to be your tearful, shredded husband? Brace yourself. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. That really wound her up. No. She didn't like people who were really, really smiley. What? He was really then find one that's not smiley. Yeah. Yeah. Jesterson moved. No, pick another one. No, they've gone for it. You will have to speak up. Make yourself heard next time. The clock strikes. Do 
you, bride, take Jefferson Meld to be your tearful, shredded husband? This will be good. Act like you're part of the team. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. You still need to find two more. Right, so here is... Katie, you've got to find husbands with Ed in the name. Come on! You're running yes, out of time. Say something! I love it, Archibald. Yes! He's got her so eye Make them pick it. The bride's coming. Quick, Theodore Sneeze. Let's try him. No! This will be two to them! Do you, bride, take Theodore Sneer to be your tearful, shredded husband? Remember, look pleased when they get it right. Katie, you can't let them get another one. Take control. <gasps> you still need one more. Right, he was sad um, and he had a top He hat. had, he he had, had a hat, hat and glasses he had a and so does Archibald. Excellent. It's a bowler hat. But that yeah. other but guy has that too. You must persuade them. We can oh, go for that, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. What about yeah. this guy at the back? Because they, they have bowler hats. Hat. The... Who are they going for? Yeah, 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 they Agree. Yeah, just go for him. I hope we get this one right. You were very lucky this time, Katie. Do you bride take Frederick Bulb to be your tearful, shredded husband? Remember to look scared. Mm. No. no, dear. This is our last one. We have to get this right. One more bad husband and you fail. It all comes down to this. Make yourself heard. No, please, because I'm... Come on! <laughs> but what about him? Because, I don't oh, know, he looks... What do you guys think? That she would one go of the for. Okay, let's pick one of these two. Who, who wants think... Hector not? It can't be Hector not. If they pick Hector, you're trapped. Red. Yeah. Archibald Dread. Yes, perfect. For Craig's from Archibald. They're going for it. If you look at her, she looks scary and so does he. So the bride is coming. Oh, that's right. Excellent work, Katie. Do you, bride, take Archibald Dread to be your tearful, shredded husband? <coughs> Unfortunates, you have failed miserably. Oh dear, bad luck, team. <laughs> You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Martha, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Katie because she wasn't joining in our conversations and she agreed when we picked the wrong one. Nicholas. I think the saboteur might have been Martha because um, she kept picking people with bowling hats. Katie. I think the saboteur was Martha because whenever I said something, she disagreed. Craig. I thought it was Martha because every time we got one wrong, she had suggested it. Lauren. I thought it was Martha because she picked all the wrong ones. You have voted for Martha. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, KG. See? <laughs> Told you so. Martha. You will not be leaving this room. The others could still win the key of freedom and are free to pass to the next floor. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Trapped! And the only one to spot the saboteur! Unlucky! Martha, any last words? I'm devastated. Who's going to feed my rabbits? Poor, unfortunate Martha. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Martha. As much as she tried, no one believed her. She's trapped on floor five. Floor four? The wolf and the nut. Fact, a wolf's howl can be heard from ten miles away. <gasps> That one sounded a lot closer. There once was a wolf hunter called Scarlet. One terrible day, a wolf ate her granny, and she said, I'm gonna find that wolf and cut off his head. 
but first I need to get some sleep. But sleep she could not, because the bed was riddled with scrumble nuts. Unfortunate must find the nuts between the mattresses on her bed. They must choose carefully, because lurking within is an angry child-eating wolf. Find the wolf three times, and they fail. Remember, one of them is not to be trusted. But who is it? Craig, do not react. It's you again. Each time, I would tell you what part of the bed the wolf is in. It's up to you to guide your team towards it. But be careful. You don't want to be detected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Oh, Craig is the saboteur for the second time. That's not fair. Ha <laughs> ha. Unfortunates. To pass, you must find three scrumble nuts. Let the challenge begin! Now! So, guys, you know what to do. It's top, middle, or bottom. Craig, the wolf is in the top of the bed. Right. What do you think? What do you think, Key? <laughs> Maybe the, the middle? The... No! The middle? No, I'm, I'm no. not saying the top. I would say the top, because, like... That's it. Or at the bottom. When you've decided, let me know. Uh, I think we agree top. top. OK. Place your hand into the mattress. Well done, Craig. This will be one to you. You've got saliva all over your hands. That is gross. <laughs> I am never going to get any sleep if you don't find me a scrumble nut. Follow me. The wolf is in the top of the bed. Convince them. Top, middle, or bottom? Maybe it's... Middle? Maybe it's top, because maybe it's, uh, the wheel's already been there, so maybe it's, like, moved down a bit. Yeah. Not too forceful, Craig. Not the same place. It's up to you. What do you think? Should we take the top? I don't know. I don't know. Don't what are you going for? I'm going top. Somebody else. OK, yeah, you're going for the top. Brilliant. And it looked like Nicholas's idea. <laughs> this is disgusting. What happened? The wolf, the again. wolf again? There's no wolf. I would know. Now let's move around to the next side. They only need one more wolf to fail. He's in the bottom of the bed. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> okay, I'm not saying anything. Probably because... bottom. No. The girls are going for the bottom. See what happens. I need a scramble nut. The Which bottom. one are you going for? The bottom. The bottom? Are you sure? Good acting, oh, Craig. You've thrown them off the scent. Find me a scramble nut! They didn't find a single scramble nut. And this would be three bites! <laughs> you guys are useless! Unfortunates! You have failed miserably! Oh, seriously sneaky sabotage. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Nicholas, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur might have been Craig, because whichever one he picked, we always went for. Katie. I think it was Nicholas, because he was acting suspiciously. Craig. I also thought it was Nicholas, because he seemed to be acting suspiciously. Lauren. I thought it was Nicholas, because he kept on telling us the wrong one. You have voted for Nicholas. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Craig. <laughs> told you. Oh. Actually, told you. Oh, sorry. Nicholas, you will not be leaving this room. Yeah? The others are free to pass to the next floor. Trapped. Superb sabotage technique again. <laughs> Nicholas, any last words? At least I get to stay here with the girl and the wolf. Poor unfortunate Nicholas. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Nicholas feels sick to the core, betrayed by his friends. He's trapped on floor four. Oh! <sighs> what? Who is this? What do you mean, me? It can't be me. I'm me, you're you! Yes! Goodbye! Now, where were we? 
Oh, yes! <laughs> Zack is trapped on floor six, Martha is trapped on floor five, and poor little Nicholas is trapped on floor four. Floor three! A child for tea. Huh! She might have trouble getting this lot in a teapot. There once was a lady, so kindly was she, that children were always invited for tea. Cooey. She may seem all smiley and nice, but beware, this old granny is far from it. Come on in, dear. Take a seat. You're just in time to try my treats. Fatten them up she might, but unfortunates, beware. They must eat two good sweets. Eating two bad sweets spells disaster. And one of them cannot be trusted. <laughs> so who will it be? Lauren, do not react. You are the saboteur. I will tell you which of the granny's sweets are bad. It is up to you how you use this information. Be careful, you don't want to be detected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Lauren is the next saboteur? What are the chances of that? One in three. Unfortunate. To pass, you must eat two good sweets. Let the challenge begin. Now! Oh, aren't you adorable? I love having children for tea. <laughs> I couldn't eat a whole one. <laughs> well, actually, I could. I have. And I will. <laughs> you have to pick one of these beautiful treats. OK, Lauren, the good sweet is on the red plate. Don't let them eat that one. I mean, they might think that looks good, but it might taste bad inside. Good. That could be the same. I think, we should, I think that we should maybe go for that one. Excellent. Okay. Who's going to try it? Take a big, juicy bite. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> This'll be one to you. Big bite. Poor oh, Craig. How's it taste? Not very nice. <laughs> oh, do you want to spit it oh. out here? Oh. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. You only need one more bad sweet. Don't worry, we've got some more here. Here we go. Lauren. The good sweet is on the blue plate. Guide them to the other two. The egg looks OK. No! That's the good sweet. I would say maybe that one. Speak up! Yeah. The egg. The egg. Who's going to try it? Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> you let them have that too easily. Speak up on the next one. Nice juicy bite. Now don't be shy. Ask yes. <laughs> You may look pleased now. But another one of those, and you're trapped! Make yourself heard this time. It's your last chance. Oh, three more beautiful trees to choose from. The good sweet is on the red plate. These two, because that one don't look very nice. It doesn't matter which one they go for, as long as it's not red. It might be really nice, but... But it doesn't look that good. Is that okay. Okay. Oh. Use, use, I think maybe that one. No! We should go for that one. That one thing? Talk them out of it! Oh, then. Big juicy bite! Okay. It's too late! You've blown it! <laughs> oh, you've passed! <laughs> Unfortunate! You have passed. Curses! Oh, Who have a you have passed, therefore the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Katie. I think it was Lauren because she chose the sweet quite quickly. Lauren. I thought it was Craig because he picked all the wrong ones. Craig. I thought it was Lauren because she kept on making me change my mind. You have voted for Lauren. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, you failed to sabotage the challenge and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room.
Katie and Craig will go head to head in the fight for freedom. Ha <laughs> Automatic trapification! Laura, any last words? I hope the granny doesn't eat me. <laughs> Poor unfortunate Lauren. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Lauren. All the others could see. She was playing against them. She's trapped on floor three. Floor two! The fight for freedom! This is it! I'm so excited! I could crank up a cranberry! Unfortunate. This is your only chance to win the key of freedom and escape. I will ask you questions about your time in the tower. Get it right, and you take one step closer to the key. Get it wrong, and your opponent takes the step. It's a race to the key, and there can only be one winner. Katie, your first question. What color were the portrait frames in Midnight Bride? Gold. Correct. They were gold. Take one step towards the key. Craig, your first question. Who was the saboteur on floor four? Was it me? Correct. It was you. Take one step towards the key. Katie, how many times did the bride scream on floor five? Three times. Correct. It was three. Take one step closer towards the key. Craig, what was directly on top of the trap door on floor six? It was a tower of box. Incorrect. It was a rug. Katie. Take Craig's step towards the key. Katie, answer this question correctly and you will win your freedom. Answer it incorrectly and Craig is still in with a chance. What color were the marriage man's gloves on floor five? Black. Correct, they were black. Katie, congratulations. You have won the key of freedom. Take it. Poor, unfortunate Craig. You're trapped! Katie, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Poor little Craig. Missed out on the key. Katie escaped. And now she's free. Freedom at last! Ah, oh, shut your noise hole. So... Katie is free ever after, and so are you, for now. <laughs>BBC One, stay tuned, because coming up next, we have got What's New scooby Doing. In the meantime, what? let's have fun with our book of sound effects. Yeah. What's the next page? No problem.